Hey guys. So I'm hearing that um a lot of you guys could be getting um uh, I feel like somebody's trying to reach you telepathically. Like they aren't physically reaching out to you, you know, from a phone or coming to your house to speak to you. Um, but they're doing it telepathically. Like if you've been thinking of this person or this person has run across their mind, um, this is this person thinking of you. This is this person thinking of you. They could even be talking about you, bringing you up in a conversation. But I just feel like, I feel like someone is trying to contact you telepathically. You could be riding in a car and a song comes on that reminds you of this person. Um... You could dream about this person. Like, this person popped up in your dreams. Like, yeah. I'm getting, like, somebody's trying to reach you. Somebody's trying to reach out to you. They have something that they want to talk to you about. They just may miss you. They want to talk to you. But we're going to get a message from them. Let's see what, what they want to say. What do they want to know? What are their intentions behind it? Let's see. We're going to stop right here. Yeah, I'm hearing the reason that this person is not reaching out um, just straight up right now because they don't feel like it's the right time. They feel like everybody, I feel like it's a lot of people who they deal with that you don't deal with at this time. They don't feel like it's the right time. So it's, the timing is off. The timing is off. But this person seems like they're thinking about you a lot. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So we got three men right here. They're like boom, boom, boom. We got the King of Cups, the King of Swords, and the King of Wands. Could be three different people, okay? This is someone from your past. Because we got the Six of Cups here. This is definitely someone from your past who wants uh, a new beginning with you. Yeah, you, you guys were together before. Could be a twin flame. Could be someone that you were married to. Could be someone that you y'all had a, some type of living arrangement. This person owes you an apology and they know they do. I'm hearing it started off nice, but then it ended up being cold. So somebody started off, things started off really nice. Like this person could have been treating you really, really nice, but then this person has a cold side to them as well. Okay. I feel like this person has a hot and cold because the King of Cups and the King, the King of Swords are completely opposite. The King of Cups is very loving, caring, but don't get them twisted. If he was in the reverse, it would have been a different story. Don't get the King of Cups twisted. But the King of Swords is very uh, straightforward, very logical, very, you know, straight to the point. I feel like it started out where this person was being very sweet, very nice. This person is trying to get you to reach out first. They don't feel like you're going for it though. They not feel they don't feel like you're going for it. This could be a Sagittarius. They don't feel like you're going to, that you're going for it. It's not going as planned. They're spying on you. They could be uh behind the scenes or you're friends with them on social media. Maybe they've been hearting your your pictures. But they feel um like, they have to gain up the confidence to come towards somebody like you. Because we got the Emperor and the Empress right here. So, you guys would definitely, like, we're a match. Or you guys are a match. Twin flame type of energy. So many type of energy. 
But they keep running off. Like, I think this is getting like, they, they just, like, want you to chase them. This person said, I hope you know I ain't going nowhere. You're too beautiful. You're gorgeous. Listen, this person could be all up wanting to message you so bad to tell you how beautiful you are. The star and the empress, like you're a star in this person's eyes. This person admires you. You're breathtaking to this person. This person is just, just staring. I'm getting staring, looking at you, looking at your pictures. They want to talk to you so bad. They want to talk to you so bad. This person feels like it's been enough time. They want to see you now. Now they want to see you. They want to see you. They feel like it's been enough time. Oof. Yeah, I feel like this person tried to give you some time to kind of unwind, kind of give you some space, but they don't want you to get too far. They feel like they're trying to figure out, is this the right time? 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 No, it's not the right time, but damn, I, I've been waiting to see that. I want to see them so bad. This person, it seems like this person is going to reach out to you because i got the page of pentacles here it may just be a quick short little message something quick and short um this person is coming off as kind of toxic as kind of kind of a little weird to me because we got the knight of swords and the devil like this person is giving me like obsessed with you vibes like i'm hearing why you so obsessed with me boy i want to know lying that you're sexing me when everybody knows it's clear that you're obsessed with me. Mm -hmm. Finally found a girl that you couldn't impress. Last man on the earth still couldn't get this. You're delusional, you're delusional. Boy, you're losing your mind. <laughs> this person is crazy over you. You hear me? They desire you so much. Like This person has got like this obsession with you. Yeah, this person feels like it was. It's not that serious. They, I'm hearing they. Is it that serious? Was it that serious? Look, what I gotta do? I offer you a gift over a gift over some money. Like what you want? Confirmation. You can feel like this person isn't very attractive. You don't feel very attracted to this person or this person is not your type. Five of Pentacles and the Emperor. It's like this person is not your type. Um, like I said, they may not be that attractive. And attractive doesn't mean just physical. It's things about them on the inside, okay? Their spirit may be ugly to you. The way they do things, the way that they move, the way that they think. Like, it could be ugly to you. You telling them, look, you can keep that money. You can keep that money. You can keep it. You think that's going to keep you in the picture. But it's sad to tell you that it's not. So this person try to offer you gifts, try to do whatever they can to try to stay in your good graces, try to keep up with you. But it's like, hmm, what is the seven of wands here? I'm hearing this person feels like they got some type of bad luck without you like they just i'm hearing bad luck bad karma i feel like they've been doing a lot of work whether they're working on something or they just feel like something i'm feeling like karma karmic i'm getting bad karma and this is in their hopes and fears so I'm hearing what goes around comes around is what I'm hearing. So you could be dealing with somebody that you just feel like it ain't, we ain't supposed to even be together. We ain't even supposed to be dealing with each other. So why you all up in my face? Why you all up on my line? Why you all up, like, chill out? Because I'm hearing, like, this person feel like 
they fear that uh, fear karma, but they're still they have this attachment to you. And like I said, this person stuck on you. They stuck on you. You gonna draw this person courtesy? They feel like they're stuck waiting for you to reach out, stuck waiting for you to answer. Maybe they even answer your phone, answer like they just feel like confused. Confused. I'm hearing this person, they like, they want to ask you what you need. You everything to this person. I feel like you've been switching things up. Um, and this person is having regrets. They having big regrets. But they're trying, they're reaching, they're doing things telepathically. Like they've been thinking about you nonstop. If I'm, if there's something that you just notice that just reminds you of this person, like every time you you just going about your day, and then there's something that this person would say, somebody else would say, or something a, a specific song comes on while you're listening to music, and it's next on the playlist. Like it's just certain things that this person is trying really, really extremely hard to manifest themselves into your reality. Okay, and I feel like this person has a, a really bad obsession with you. Like it's it's past the point of you know, just, you know, oh, I, I, I got a crush. No, it's flat out obsession. Okay, this person is flat out obsessed with you. Flat out, flat out, flat out, honey. <laughs> it's sad. Like, it's just flat out, okay? So, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.